Hello friends, this video on adolescence part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the next one that is pancreas. Now one interesting thing about pancreas is that pancreas acts as both endocrine gland as well as exocrine gland. That is why it is called composite gland because it acts as endocrine gland as well as exocrine gland. So some part, one part of pancreas is with duct and one part of pancreas is without duct. So here we are going to talk about the endocrine part of pancreas because obviously when we are talking about endocrine system, we are going to talk about the endocrine glands. So that endocrine part of pancreas is called island of Langerhans. That is the name given to the endocrine part of uh, pancreas. So what do we mean by islet? So islet basically means cluster of cells. It is like a bunch of cells. And each islet has 3,000 to 4,000 cells. So one islet has that many number of cells. So these islets are irregularly distributed patches of endocrine tissue which are located within the pancreas. So where is pancreas? This green colored structure which you see behind the stomach, that is pancreas. Now inside this pancreas you have some endocrine tissues they are called islets. Now since you have patches of tissues present so they are like island. What is island? In, in the middle of water you just have a patch of land. So patch of land amidst water. Similarly here patches of endocrine tissues in the pancreas. That is why it is called islet and the islet word it sounds little similar to island. So it is in that uh, sense. Now, there are almost 1 to 2 million cells which exist inside the pancreas. So, this pancreas is located below the stomach. There are two types of cells which form the islet of Langerhans. That is the endocrine part also is made up of two types of cells. One is the alpha cells, the other one is the beta cells. And these alpha and beta cells, they secrete different hormones. So now we are going to talk about the various hormones released by the alpha and beta cells of islet of Langerhans. So let us look at the hormones which are released by islet of Langerhans. So one of the important hormones is insulin. Have you ever heard of the word insulin? You would have heard it if you know anybody who is a diabetic patient. Now somebody who is suffering from diabetes, what is diabetes? When the blood glucose level increases or the blood sugar level increases. So in that case, if the sugar level increases too much, then the patient is often taken to the hospital and the doctors advise to give insulin to that patient. Why? Because insulin is a hormone which helps to re reduce or lower the blood glucose level. That is the most important function of insulin. So this is a hormone which is secreted by beta cells of pancreas and its job is to lower the blood glucose level. Now, how does it reduce the blood glucose level? Whatever extra glucose is present in the blood, that glucose is converted into glycogen and stored in the body. Now, glycogen is a, a storage form so that it, during emergency situation, it can be broken back into glucose and then utilized by the body. So, that is insulin. It is a hyperglycemic hormone. Now, in a very similar way, there is another hormone called glucagon, which is secreted by the alpha cells. And you will be surprised to know that the function of insulin and glucagon are exactly opposite to each other. So, this is secreted by alpha cells and its job is to increase the blood glucose level. So, now these two hormones together, what do they do? They maintain the right glucose level in the blood because if the glucose level increase too much it will cause diabetes the patient will have lot of complication again if the glucose level reduce too much then also it is a problem for the patient so in order to avoid both the extreme situation insulin and glucagon both have to perform their jobs so that the level does not increase at the same time the level does not decrease also 
So insulin and glucagon perform opposite roles and maintain glucose homeostasis in blood. So glucose homeostasis is nothing but the stable state. So the stable state of glucose level is maintained with the help of insulin and glucagon. So now you know why insulin is given to a patient who is suffering from diabetes. Now what can happen if there is disorder of these hormones from islet of Langerhans. So one is diabetes mellitus, prolonged hyperglycemia. Hyper means more. So when there is too much of glucose in the blood, that is called hyperglycemia. So in that case, what happens? Glucose passes out even through urine. So basically, how do you get to know that a person is suffering from diabetes with the help of his urine test? So if the urine shows the presence of glucose, that means that the level of glucose in the blood has increased so much that it has even started coming out in the urine. Now, diabetes mellitus can be uh, brought under control by application of insulin. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.